For two days, the Simon Fraser University Clan Swimming and Diving Team played host to the 2007 SFU Clan Cup International. The meet was an opportunity for the team to measure themselves against some of the best swimmers in the world. The level of competition is great. I mean, it's, it's exciting for the, the athletes to actually reach deeper and to get higher level performances rather than, you know, it sit back. So it's, it's awesome to have top level competitors in here. Competitors from the Universities of Manitoba, Alberta, Victoria and Seattle were all in action, but the highlight for most was the chance to watch and compete against a team from the Shaanxi province in China. Just competing against higher level swimmers is a positive in itself. You learn things from them from watching them. You can learn um, how to improve yourself by watching their starts, their turns, how they prepare for their races can help you improve on your preparation and your races as well. Uh, really focused and prepared and you know they get in and do their warm up and don't let anything distract them and then do their warm down and just get ready for their next race. They stay focused the whole way through. Well, it's a really good experience to just get up and race um, in season against some uh, international competition because you don't get a lot of opportunities to do it usually in season. So I think that was a really good opportunity and um, just swimming a lot of events, just getting up and trying to go close to your best time. I think it just you can take a lot away from that. The event was co-organized by SFU head coach Liam Donnelly and Yao Ping Lu. Lou, head coach of the East Vancouver-based Gator Swimming Club, has been a key member of the welcoming delegation for the Shangzi team and says that the team from China has thoroughly enjoyed their stay in Vancouver. I think is, uh, they're very happy to come here So because this, this beautiful city, good environment and also very nice people, especially the, uh, the people, staffs from SFU. They're very, very happy. They came here, the hotel is good, you know, the training facility is great, so they are very happy. This time they came here, they have no stress. They just try to go fast. So that is why the, you see the, in the preliminaries, several swimmers are close best time. Events like the Clan Cup give Canadian University students a meet against top level competition without having to leave the country. Mark Schuett, Executive Director of Swim BC, explains. A great motivational tool, especially for some of the younger clubs uh, in development of their athletes, and just giving them that motivation, you know, of moving ahead, uh, seeing what else is out there. Opportunity with, uh, with schooling, you know, deciding whether, you know, whether we, we struggle with, with keeping athletes in Canada as opposed to moving to, uh, to American schools or schools in other parts of the world. Athletics is often a way to break down communication barriers around the globe. Events like the Clan Cup play an important role in breaking down those barriers through the international language of sport. Uh, I think that's a, a good way of phrasing it. It is genuinely an international language. The entire world is fired up by elite athletics these days. Uh, the, the elite university system uh, is connected that way uh, and it's relatively easy to both enjoy things together as well as to compete uh, at a very high level.